Hi, it's Jackie from Fiddle. And today I'm gonna go with you through all the songs we're gonna do on the treasure map for the very beginner level. And we're gonna start out with a shaker. I'll have shakers for the concert for you when you come in for your lessons. So if you have something that shakes at home, you can use that. You can grab a baggie and put cereal or uh, rice in it or you can take a toilet paper tube and tape the bottom up and then put some rice or dried beans and then tape the top up with tape and you can shake that too but find something that's shaky at home and you can practice the shaker and then i'll get you a shaker in your lesson if you can't find a shaker that's just okay pretend like you have one and i'll get you one to practice when i see you okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna shake it to a count of four like this one two ready go one two, three, four. If you don't have a shaker, you can just hold your hand like you have. Have one in your hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What we're gonna do is we're gonna shake while we sing some songs. So we're gonna shake and sing Applejack and we're gonna shake and sing Grumpy Pirate. So we're gonna be practicing those, but for now, you can just do your count of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now the trick is we don't wanna get faster or slower. We wanna stay right on tempo. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Every day, practice your shaker first. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sing Grumpy Pirate. It goes, what do you do with a grumpy pirate? Again, what do you do with a grumpy pirate? One more time. What do you do with a grumpy pirate early in the morning? So it'll sound like this. What do you do with a grumpy pirate? The chorus, the part that we sing the same every time, is hey ho, up she rises. Hey ho, up she rises. One more time. Hey ho, up she rises. And then finish out with early in the morning, like this. Hey ho, up she rises. shaker and you can go what do you do with the grumpy pirate what do you do with the grumpy pirate what do you do with the grumpy pirate early in the morning we have three different rhythms in this song the first one is the what do you do with a sometimes we call this a uh, long tater long tater Long tater, long tater. Do you see how the taters go quicker? So I do one long one and then two small ones. So I go long, short, short, long, short, short. That's the first rhythm. It's a quarter note for the first shake and two quick eighth notes for the next two shakes. So it goes quarter, eighth, eighth, quarter, eighth, eighth. So long, short, short, long, short, short. That's the first rhythm. The next rhythm is four even quarters. One, two, three, four. So what? Short, short, do, short, short. One, two, three, four. So it sounds like this. What do you do with the grumpy pirate? What do you do with the grumpy pirate? Long, short, short, long, short, short, long, long, long. long. And the last rhythm goes early in the morning. So four, early in the, for the quarter notes, and then we're gonna have half notes, morning, and those are longer. Then you just shake one shake, morning. So, what do you do with the grumpy pirate? What do you do with the grumpy pirate? What do you do with the grumpy pirate? Early in the morning. 
When we get to the very end, we do what's called a tremolo. And a tremolo happens when we shake it back and forth really fast. We're gonna learn how to do that on our bow as well. So we shake it like this at the very end. But we have two more verses. So the next verse, do a little dance and make him smile. So here we go. Do a little dance and make him smile. And then after the fiddles play, we'll sing, what do you do with a grumpy pirate? With the hey hoes on the end. And then the fiddles will play again. And then we'll sing, do a little dance and make him smile. Do a little dance and make him smile. Do a little dance and make him smile early in the morning. Hey ho, up she rises, hey ho. Up she rides. And here's the thing about it. Just wait until you hear us sing and then you just sing along. You can't really do the shaker wrong. If you go a little fast or you go a little slow or you miss a note, you just keep shaking the shaker. That's the most important part. Sing the song and shake the shaker. The final verse goes, um, make them walk the plank till it starts to wobble. So that one is make them walk the plank till it starts to wobble, like this. Make them walk the plank till it starts to wobble. Make them walk the plank till it starts to wobble. Make them walk the plank till it starts to wobble. Early in the morning. Hey ho, hey ho, up she rides. Hey ho, up she Shaking your shake or why the fiddles go. And they'll finish it out. And when they get to the end, we'll shake the shakers really big. You can't miss it. We'll practice it. In order to pluck the easiest version of Grumpy Pirate, we're going to need to know how to pluck two strings. The first string we're going to need to know how to pluck is the A string. So the skinniest string far on the far right is the E. The next string is the A. That's the first string we need to know. It's going to be the second string we pluck in the song. And the next string we need to know is the D string. That's the third string over. It's right next to the G, which is the biggest string. So let's put the violin up. Put your thumb on the corner of the fingerboard and listen to the A. Try plucking your A and see if it sounds the same. It's one of the two middle strings. If yours sounds different like this, you're probably on the D. So make sure you hit the A string. Let's try the A. Now let's go over one more, reach a little bit further, and try the D string. That's the D string. First thing we're going to pluck is the D string, and we're going to pluck what do you do with a grumpy pirate, like this. What do you do with a grumpy pirate? Now go to the next string, the A string, and do the same thing. What do you do with a grumpy pirate? Back to the D string. What do you do with a grumpy pirate? So we did, what do you do with a grumpy pirate on the D? And then we went to the A, and then we went back to the D. Now the last part starts on the A. We're going to pluck it four times. Early in the D string. Morning. Did you notice the Ds were a little bit longer? So four A's. Early in the D. Longer. So we're going to start with D. What do you do? plucking on grumpy pirate once you know first finger on the e string which looks like this we can place one finger down on the e and we can pluck the e string making sure that first finger is making a box a nice box there like this onto the tip we don't want it to look like this 
or like this, and especially not like this. We get out of that thumb straight up, joint nice and high, and curl that first finger under that tape. We're gonna pluck the E string. If your first finger tip is white, it'll sound good. If not, it'll sound Make sure you press down nice and hard. What do you do with the grumpy pirate? Now lift up the one just a little bit off the string, like this. Open E. What do you do with the grumpy pirate? Back to first finger. What do you do with the grumpy pirate? No fingers. Early in the first finger. Morning. And that'll be our more advanced plucking for Grumpy Pirate. So for the song Applejack, the words go, play a song for me, Applejack, Applejack. And then the next part goes, play a song for me and I'll sing. And we're going to go back to the first part, play a song for me, Applejack, Applejack. And then the last part is, play a song, let your banjo ring. So when we're singing this one, we got play a song for me, Applejack, Applejack. So we're gonna go pl play a song for me, Applejack, Applejack. Play a song for me, and I'll sing. Play a song for me, Applejack, Applejack. Play a song, let your banjo ring. Play a song for me, Applejack, Applejack. Play a song for me, and I'll sing. Play a song for me, Applejack, Applejack. Play a song, let your banjo ring. When we played the shaker with Grumpy Pirate, we made the shaker match the syllables of the words. So when I sang faster, I'd shake faster. When I sang slower, I'd shake slower. So it would be, what do you do with the Grumpy Pirate? That's called playing the rhythm. We're playing the rhythm of the song with the shaker. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna play the beat of the song. So the beat of the song stays steady. It's gonna be slow the whole time just like this. And we're not gonna change the rhythm of the shaker to fit the notes. We're not gonna go, play a song for me. What we're gonna do instead is we're gonna shake the shaker and we can just count to four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just like we did when we started learning to use the shaker. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna shake that shaker Play a song for me, Applejack, Applejack. Play a song for me, and I'll sing. Play a song for me, Applejack, Applejack. Play a song, let your banjo ring. Did you notice on the end ring was super long? And so I sang the word ring once, but I kept keeping the shaker going on the beat of the song. So sometimes it can be pretty tricky the first time that you try to sing one thing or play one thing and get another rhythm with your right hand. So what we're gonna do is when you're trying this, if you just don't naturally sing and do the shaker, do the shaker by itself. Listen to me sing and just do the shaker. Play a song. Jack, apple, jack, play. We're call, we call this um, tuning into the rhythm or syncing with the rhythm. And you just wanna practice doing that shaker right along with me and just get that shaker going. Eventually we'll be tapping your right foot this way to keep that beat. And so this is how you get the beat going. And then you can practice singing, play a song for me, apple, jack. And so then the, the true challenge is once you can kind of do the shaker, then you can try singing with me, but then go back to the last video where I sang with a guitar and just grab your shaker and try to shake that shaker right along with me singing with the guitar. Once you have that down, then try singing it while shaking. It takes a little bit of practice, but you'll get pretty good at it. I'll start with the shaker for the potatoes. And 
Potatoes are just like the rhythm from Grumpy Pirate where we go long, short, short, long, short, short. So we're gonna do that. But instead of saying long, short, short, we're gonna say one, tater, two, tater, three, tater, four, tater. And I call these potatoes because we say tater, right? One, tater, two, tater, three, tater, four, tater, one, tater, two, tater, three, tater, four, tater. That's the first thing we're gonna do. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hold our, our arm out in bowing position, and we're gonna bring our arm in towards our heart, and we're gonna go out for one, like this, and we're gonna go really small, tater. And then go in long, two, short, tater. All the way out, three, short, tater. And then back in, four, tater. One, tater, two, tater, three, tater, four, tater. So when we're on a number, we go all the way out. But then when we're on taters, we only go halfway. So we're gonna go all the way out, and then taters halfway, and then all the way in, halfway, out, halfway, in, halfway. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clap it. We're gonna go long, quick, quick, long, quick, quick, long, quick, quick, long, quick, quick. You can even tap your feet with it. Long, quick, quick, long, quick, quick, long, quick, quick, long, quick, quick. I know you can imagine my feet. I went back and forth between my right and left foot. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pluck it on the A string. So we're gonna set our hand right here on the corner of the fingerboard on the A string and we're gonna go one, tater, two, tater, three, tater, four, tater. So when I do the, the big one, I lift up. And when I do the taters, they're super close. Lift up, close, close, up, close, close, up, close, close. So you're gonna do, however old you are, you wanna do each of those. So try the shaker, if you're seven, try the shaker seven times with your four taters. And then try the clapping seven times. If you're 10, do it 10 times. If you're four, do it four times. Okay, then we pluck the A string. One tater, two tater, three tater, four tater. That's one time through. Keep doing that, however old you are, amount of times. And then when you think you have it, if you have a bow tracker, set your bow tracker on, put your bow on the A string. We're gonna find our square, where we make a square from here to here to here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull to the right for my down bow, long, little, long, So one, tater, two, tater, three, tater, four, tater. You can see how the stick of my bow is rotated just a little bit towards the headstock of the violin where the peg box is. It's not straight up and down and it's most certainly not tilted towards me because I've got to get my, my wrist up nice and high, right? So I keep this part still and this part moves. Long, short, short, long. Notice how loose my hand is. See this big circle here? I've got my hand nice and loose. So someone could take my bow away from me. The way I get the pressure is just from curling my thumb right here like this and then putting my index finger over the top. I look right here to make sure that my bow stays above these F-hole circles. I call that the sweet spot, these two little circles right here. And um, what looks straight to you as a player uh, can sometimes be crooked. So you wanna have a parent watch from the other side and make sure that your bow doesn't look like this if your elbow's too far back, or like this if your elbow's too far forward. Sometimes that usually tends to happen if you set your bow at the wrong spot, like here instead of the middle. So just make sure you're making your square and then you can see if it's straight versus crooked. You'll notice because that bow will be sliding if it's crooked. So we want to keep it totally straight with the bridge. This part stays still, this part moves. And that's
that's the taters. When we play boil the cabbage in the concert, that's what the advanced students are doing. They're moving their notes. But you can just play your bow. One, two, three, two, three, 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 four, three, 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 for the whole song. When we play boil the cabbage, you can play taters. You can play shaker if you want. You can do the shaker. One tater, two tater, three tater, four tater. One tater, two tater, three tater, four tater. Or you can play your violin with the open A. Just know you're gonna hear some other notes, but your notes will fit perfect with the song. Let's try some potatoes. Why do we do boil the cabbage? So this is what the, you're gonna hear to kick off the song. So get ready for your potatoes. I'm gonna kick it off and I'll let you know when it's time to go. on my left hand while you played the open A string. Now, if you couldn't get how that goes, I'm gonna play your part so you can hear what it sounds like. So get ready, one, two, ready, here we go. Your part. That was 16 taters, that was four sets of four taters. So you want to practice not stopping. That's one part. Most important thing about doing taters is to make sure that your bow is straight, that it's pressed down, that you're moving from here, not up here, and that it's not washing around like this. If you move from over here, your bow's gonna be sliding around, so keep it nice and straight. We've gotta get 16 taters per part, and we've got eight parts. That's a lot of potatoes we're gonna be playing. So here's the trick. Once you get ready to play boiled the cabbage on your violin, you just set up your violin and you keep playing potatoes. About halfway through the song, your arm is going to feel on fire. It's going to be so tired from all those potatoes. So practice lots of potatoes at home. See if you can make it to 100 potatoes. One tater, two tater, three tater, four tater, five tater, six tater. Go all the way to 100. If you can't count to 100, you can do 10 taters 10 times. Have a parent help you. Okay, and you're going to know we got to the end when you hear this. call that the ending it goes this is the end of the song when you hear that this is the end of the song then we're gonna stop with our taters so you start from the beginning you keep playing taters if your arm gets tired that's okay take a break if you lose your taters you can just play the string and when, you, when you're when you're all warmed up then you can start doing your taters again so we're gonna practice playing those taters if you don't feel ready you can always use your shaker and you can shake slow or with taters, and it's super fun. You probably noticed when we sang Grumpy Pirate that there were sections of Grumpy Pirate that changed, the words changed each time. So those are called the verses. So what do you do with a Grumpy Pirate is different than do a little dance and make him smile, which is also different from uh, make him walk the plank till it starts to wobble. So we usually start out with a verse that has different words to it. And then the chorus is the part that's the same every time. So on Grumpy Pirate, the, the chorus was, hey ho, up she rises, hey. Did you notice that we always sang that part the same? So the first part that happens is the verse. And then the second part that's the same every time is called the chorus. So when we're learning to sing Shady Grove, What's going to happen is we're going to have a verse first, and that verse will be a solo. So someone besides us will sing the solo on Shady Grove. They'll sing the first verse, and then we'll always sing the chorus afterwards. So I'm going to teach you how to sing that chorus, which is the part that will be the same every time. So after you hear someone sing a solo of a verse that you don't know, then we're going to sing the chorus that you do know. And so the chorus is going to go, Shady Grove, my little love. Shady Grove, I say, 
Shady Grove, my little love, I'm bound to go away. So it's gonna go, Shady Grove, my little love, Shady Shady Grove is kind of like Applejack because in Shady Grove, our shaker stays the same tempo as the beat of the song. So we're not going to go faster and slower. We're just going to keep our one, two, three, four. Shady Grove, my little love. Shady Grove, I say. Shady Grove, my little love. I'm bound to go away. Shady Grove, my little love, Shady Grove, I say, Shady Grove, my little love, I'm bound to go away. So first step is to learn to sing Shady Grove. Second step is to just practice doing the shaker with me. Then practice singing while we do the shaker. When you think you're pretty good at it, go back to the original video where I sing it with the guitar and practice shaking along. Okay, remember, we're just going to sing after the verses, the solos happen, then we'll sing the chorus all together. And you'll know because everybody in the group will start singing and you just sing along and you can shake all the way through the song or just on the Shady Grove parts if you want. So next we're going to learn I'm a little pirate. I'm a little pirate. I'm a little pirate sailing on a big ship, sailing across the sea to find a golden treasure. I'm a little pirate sailing on a big ship, sailing across the sea to find a golden treasure. Okay. I'm a little pirate sailing on a big ship, sailing across the sea. start by shaking I'm a little pirate. Sometimes this rhythm is harder to do when you're saying I'm a little pirate, but I find that if you say the words pepperoni pizza, it has the same rhythm and it makes it easier to shake. Can we try pepperoni pizza? Here we go. Pepperoni pizza. Again, pepperoni pizza. Now try I'm a little pirate. I'm a little pirate. Okay, let's see if we can do the whole song. I'm a little pirate sailing on a big ship, sailing across the sea to find a golden treasure. Let's try it faster. I'm a little pirate sailing on a big ship, sailing across the sea to find a golden treasure. Okay, if you got that, we're gonna try it plucking on the A string. Here we go. A string. I'm a little pirate sailing on a big ship, sailing across the sea to find a golden treasure. Now, what you wanna do is you want to watch right here where you're plucking while you play. Make sure you're plucking, make sure your jaw stays down on the violin. I'm a little pirate sailing on the sea to find a golden treasure. Okay, that's the next step. Then we're going to bow it. I'm a little pirate sailing on a big ship sailing Let's try it again. Awesome. 
place finger one on the tape. Make sure you've locked it in. Make sure that your palm is straight, not back or up. You can tell that it's straight if your thumb is straight up and down in its correct spot. And then make sure this joint is squeezed in. Put finger number one down. Make sure it makes a nice box and squeeze that tip until the tip turns white. Okay, and then second finger and then third finger. We're gonna practice zero, one, two, three. Now let's go backwards. Three, two, one, zero. In the song, we're gonna be adding fingers. Zero, one, two, three. But it's easier to bow if we start this way. Set all three fingers down, put your bow on the A string with three fingers down, and bow, I'm a little pirate. I'm a little pirate. Stop, lift it up so you only have two fingers down. Lift up number three. Lift up number two so you only have one finger down. Then lift that up so you have no fingers down. Practice that however old you are. Practice it that many times. Okay, now let's go the other direction. Start with no fingers, but have your hand ready. I like to put all three fingers down like this and then lift them up just a little bit off the violin so they're in ready position. Okay, no fingers. Set one right on the tape. on the violin. Now you can do that on the A string. One, two, three. Do that however many times you are, however old you are. So if you're seven, do it seven times. If you're four, do it four times. Okay, now once you get good at that, lift up your fingers, move your hand over to the E string, move your elbow down to move your bow to the E string, do the same thing on the E. E. One. Two. Three. Make sure that your hand doesn't smush down to the E like this. You have to lift it up and move it over. Don't tilt it sideways like this. Lift it up and move it straight over. And once you've done that, however many times old you are, you can do both in a row. A. One. Two. Three. Now lift them up, go to the E. One. Two. Three. That is our fanciest version of the song. You can also choose to just play your A string. Or you can choose to play the shaker. And we'll sing the song as well. This is I'm a Little Pirate. I'm a little pirate sailing on a big ship, sailing across the sea to find a golden treasure. I'm a little pirate. the sea to find 